tough on that one. Yeah, it just seemed to bite it. Shot now from the rough. Frank, what's he facing? Well, the lie first and foremost. If it's sitting down, then obviously you're not going to get a very good contact. Nothing wrong with coming up a little bit short of the green. Problem is turning one mistake into another. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. That had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his metal. So a tester from four feet. Frank, you know full well, this can be a humbling game. Uh, and an embarrassing game. Rich Lerner pleased to be alongside Frank Navalo for EA Sports. Back to PGA West, getting set for the back nine and the 10th hole. It's a good looking hole, Frank, at 416 yards. It certainly gets your attention, just the visual there. This is one of those holes, if you've got a caddy, you say, oh, what's that carry over the bunker on that left side where the water is? Uh, he'll tell you it's like 240 yards. And then you say, well, what's it to the bunkers on the right? Well, to get past those ones on that right side, uh, you're in the vicinity of uh, 300 yards. This is, uh, this is a, a hole that you know, you'll scratch your head. They'll pay a little bit of a price for missing the fairway here because from that rough, you cannot control the spin on the golf ball. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. Yeah. Has it? Maybe extra stroke added after going into the water. So the previous shot into the drink, this now the fourth shot. So Frank, he'll take a drop here. Yeah, he'll take his medicine, take his penalty shot. The hole's not over yet. Now his fourth shot. This is a good looking shot. Not too bad. It's about 23 feet away. He didn't hit the flag stick, but he still has a chance. Sitting right now at two over par for the round. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. That is a double bogey. Now at the long par 5 11. They call it eternity with good reason. It is 617 yards. Frank, what's the game plan here? Hit it as long as you can, uh, hopefully only a couple of times, and you, you can get fairly close to this green little pitch up there. But uh, even if you go for this green or try and get close, that's when you start to notice the water that comes in on the left side. So you can't just bash away. Might only be a couple of bunkers in play off the tee, but they have to be avoided. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. All right, Frank, time to play a little pitch and putt right now. Good chance with a good shot here to make a four. Yeah, holes like this, this is where small ball can beat big ball. <laughs> Safely aboard. Locked in on the read and the speed. When you consider the length of that pot, that's a good pot. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Wow, 
he got robbed, Frank. No, it's like kissing your mother-in-law. Frank, it's been that kind of a tournament. Another bogey. Yeah, it's not exactly a small gap between uh, that player there and, uh, and the rest of the field. It's, that gap's got to feel like the Grand Canyon right now. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the BioWare Classic. Well, here we are at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club. We're located along the St. John's River in the Sunshine State, Florida. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabolo for EA Sports. Frank, what stands out when you look at the wetlands? The swamp land, the gators, um, really it's a good driving golf course, Rich. Not a lot of fairway bunkers in play here at Wetlands, but um, you, if you drive the ball well here, you can, really can get a good score out here at Wetlands. Uh, they play the web.com here every now and again, so um, we've seen some good scores over the years, but uh, always fun to be playing in uh, Florida. Sun on your back, warm golf conditions. All set to go. We take you to the first hole. Getting ready to get the tournament started, Frank, First tee jitters? Oh, everybody gets them. That's the beauty of it. If you don't, you shouldn't be playing this game. Just try and think nice and slow. Second from an excellent lie.
Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Fourth shot wants to get this close. I think this one looks like it might have a postage stamp on it. Airmail City. Yeah, lick it. Send it. And it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Pretty good shot right there. Not a gimme, but well within his range. So that's a bogey, and now to one over par for the tournament. Now to the second, par three, 225 yards. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. Second shot coming out of the rough here. That's how the best in the world play it, Frank. Well, I feel a little lucky that it went in, but it was always going to be close. The third hole here at the Wetlands is a par four, 460 yards. Frank, it appears to be a pretty straightforward tee shot. It is, and actually, Rich, when I was watching the web.com event here, uh, this is where I saw those young, talented players really take advantage of a hole like this, just ramrod straight. They teed it up and just ripped it down there, and these are the sort of holes they can often make three on. Bunkers sort of short left and right. Plenty of green to work with. Nice, high-flying second shot will be well rewarded here. Second shot. Headed for the bunker. In the bunker, still with a chance for an up and down. Third shot now from the bunker. That was not an easy bunker shot. He made it look so easy. Really good composure. That bunker was not going to mess up his plans here. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Been a little too much of that, Frank. Just sort of ho-hum pars. We have already begun. Let's pick up with the action at hole number four. Early in the round, still holding steady, even par on the day. It's got that feel it could go either way here. Next few holes will probably tell us which way. Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. It, uh, you wonder what he's thinking on that. Settles in, looking to knock it in tight. Either misjudged the win or simply just pulled the wrong club, Frank. Gonna take some skill now. Nice approach shot. He'll be happy with that. Well, with that drop shot, moves to one over for the tournament. Second round coverage coming your way tomorrow. For our entire crew, I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. So long for now.